still waiting. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Hey, Yakabe, we'll see you later. Hasta pinata. Hasta pinata. I'm basically off this week. You're always a little off. Are we making moves yet? Yeah, we're on. Oh, I'm sorry. I distracted everybody. See, I... We got the microphone plugged in and everything. Oh, shit. That was really All right. We were just watching a video. Lenny and the Squig Tones. Lenny and the Squig Tones. You ready? I am ready. Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching a uh, Sunday fun day. It's, um, uh, this is going to be a really fun Sunday live stream because I'm only going to speak when I'm spoken to. That's not true. Not, like that's ever going to happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm unapologetically boisterous and noisy and flatulent and I don't care like, if the 13-year-old Cheeto eaters out there don't like it, and they always say stuff like, Why are you yelling? Eh, that's why I'm yelling, because I don't like you. No, I'm yelling because I'm around power tools all the time, and I can't hear anything. And so I talk really loud, and I talk really fast. That's just kind of the way I am. So You've been that way the entire time I've known you. Even, I've yeah. known you for a lot of years, even before a lot of power tools. Mm -hmm. And, you know, one thing that I've never had a problem with was what did Matt say? Yeah. Right? You enunciate clearly. I try. You speak with uh, presence. I like to, yeah, if you want to be heard, you got to speak up. That's exactly right. And I've, I've found myself trying to speak to your level. That will never happen. But I speak much louder now than I used to, especially on these things. Well, you if are you doing me, it right now. <laughs> yeah, if you see me during the week, I'll be like, no, <sighs> not really. Well, I'm you sorry. know, the, one of the things that I wanted to do for these live streams was make it so that you could actually hear them in your car if you're driving. And the first couple times we had all those microphones, we had all those things, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm just going to yell so so people can hear it. And if you if you ever can't hear a live stream in your car and you got it all the way cranked up, it's it's a bummer. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't know if, like, you guys probably listen to rock music or, or hip-hop or whatever big kids listen to these days. You kids in your... <laughs> you your, kids in your... And, and your, your music. Bob, Dan Fogelberg or whatever you're listening to. So the, last time I, the last time I said, you kids in your Dan Fogelberg, I got a bunch of people that were like, Dan Fogelberg, you're not old enough to... And I've got like, I can't win with some of these people. So, yeah. <laughs> I got it. You're better than I am. One guy sent me a great email this week. I've been get I got a bunch of bunch of emails this week. Um, one guy said that uh, that grain filler is not wax on wax off, and then proceeded to list his bona fides. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for forty years, and I've made houses that were millions of dollars, and tens, I did a tens of millions. eighty-three billion dollar casino, and I, you know, got jerked off by piano. the queen herself, or whatever yeah, it was. Five hundred thousand dollar piano that he he built. Cool. I'm like, what do you want me to say? You, okay, you're better than me. Fine. I, yeah, what, do you, what is it that you want? Wait, I don't, yeah. you think you're better than him? Yeah, that's what he must think. Yeah. I don't like I don't like the way he's talking yeah, to you. whatever. What's the yeah. qualifier in that deal? Yeah, and so, so I'm like, I'm like, you know, I would be more impressed with your resume if you got the whole Karate Kid reference. And then he sent another thing, and I'm like, just, 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't see the follow-up. Oh, it was like, I know Karate Kid, I'm up. fine, fine, fine. <laughs> I don't care. It was our first time using the product. Yeah. It's important to you. Yeah. It's not important to me what you yeah. did, you know. Yeah. 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 So, anyway. Well, there's some good news that came in a comment form. What's that? Joe Blow said the Black Beauty arrived in Ah, tact. good, good. I think a lot good. of people got, um, I'm way, way, way behind on emails. I got up one, one day this week, um, I got up at four, and I just started answering emails. Because what happens is if I'm, if I'm up too early, or I'm sorry, if I'm up, if I start answering emails too late, I'll start with, you know, like 100 emails. And I got to get through all of them. And what will happen is I'll start responding and then people will go and then send me emails back. And so I'll have actually more than I started with if I'm not careful. So I got up real, real early and started uh, responding to emails. And I have to do that again tomorrow, which I'm not looking forward to because I really want to sleep in. But uh, Mrs. Toast has to get up early, so maybe I'll get you up early too. You should start forwarding some of those to me. 
Well, you would you do that? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. How People many? may not be happy about it. <laughs> oh, I talked to Chris. Yeah, son of a bitch. Yeah, hey, yeah, pass me back to Matt. <laughs> put right put Matt back okay. on the phone. Would you guys like so so I get a bunch of emails and would you guys like to um uh email back with Chris? Looks like we got a super chat, Chris. And the answer is no. Um, I do not want to talk to Chris. Uh, he no. smells. So uh, Tjet six twelve writes modding an S style while listening to the stream. That's very cool. So um, I love. Cool. So I he love... might be using power tools and might appreciate your boisterous. Oh uh, yeah, that's the. Hey yeah. Tjet, watch your finger. Yeah, no, that, yeah. that's yeah, cool. Don't cut off a thumb. I I love modifying guitars. I think modding guitars is cool. And Andy the Saint chimed in. Get some damn burlap Boop. and stop whining. Who? Yeah, he's this guy. You don't know him. Oh. He's this cool guy. Newer, huh? newer guy? Navy. Yeah, he new guy. Yeah, Navy. it's a guy I know from the Navy. You Not don't know you. him. You don't know him. Um, yeah, so that was the other thing that, that Mr. Karate Kid guy said was you got to rub stuff with burlap. I'm like, dude, I, I, I got it. I fine. Burlap. Fine. I got it. You're better than me. Where am I going to buy burlap in this, in, in this What, in this economy? time. <laughs> Todd says, sorry about the email, Matt. Send me to Chris. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm going to answer him. It just means Matt's going to forward him to me. Mm -hmm. I'll answer him. He has an email. Yeah, are you... Well, I'll just, I'll just, yeah. I do, but, but Matt's the only one on the, on the Texas Toast website, which is what we go through. But we could make an email address that's just info at Texas Toast, and then it could, you never know who's gonna get it. Well, the, yeah, and then Matt and I can battle it out for, <laughs> for, for Texas Toast supremacy. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, ma'am. Oh, did you? I okay. Chris anyway, said five dollars. Matt said six. I'm gonna go with Chris. So, so if everyone who's tuned in to like make sure that Matt only speaks when spoken to today, you're going to be bitterly disappointed because, yeah. Um, if left to our own devices, me and Mrs. Toast would uh, probably provide a less than stellar show. Without I wouldn't Matt's really talk. I, I can I could be amusing, but it wouldn't be anything about guitars. We could just well, we could try it. No, let's not. All right, like uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm that, not. That was that was it right there. Yeah. I, if you guys want to see that show where it's just Matt with a muzzle on for an hour, I'll do, I'll do it. No, but it's a what, it's going to be a lot more work for you two. Guys. That's well, that's what people tune into, and and you would go insane if you had to sit there and not say anything. Would we get money to do it though? No. Oh. Well, maybe, but who wants to pay for that? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't Nobody know. wants to pay for that. It's the Matt show. Hey, it's the Matt it's Show. The Matt show. The Matt Here's show the Matt Show. I'm the Matt. the Matt Show. He'll tell you that in the first 10 minutes of meeting him. Yeah, <laughs> that's as true. far as I'm concerned, as soon as I step on stage, <laughs> it's the Matt Show. Those are real words that, that he told got me. That said one yeah. time. Yeah, and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to wow. do with that information? Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. What am I supposed to yeah. do? Oh, whoop de shit. Okay. Put so, your pants back on, Matt. Yeah, that was another thing that I were think, actual words. I think you that might have got said that said as me. you were getting out of the pool mm -hmm. at a show that the that the band played. No, I didn't say put my no. pants back on, Matt. No, I said put yeah. your pants back yeah, on, Matt. Was a, that was a real. And then thing you said, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah, that's probably how bad. it happened. But no, it, it was right after the fight about your headless base oh, and yeah. or your lack of of uh, skill. snap button shirt. Oh, or, yeah. No, it was never about your skill. <laughs> it was about. A tire, or hair, that, or guitar. Yeah, we we had uh, <clears throat> we had some good times. You and I together in the same band, and it was Chris and I rarely fought in in the band. I don't know that we ever did. I thought we got along. Yeah, quite we may famously. we may have yeah. never fought in the band. Yeah, we yeah. took a really great trip to Grand Junction. That was hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we had we had good times. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, speaking that's why of we're trips, friends now. Yeah, speaking of trips. I, I don't know why I thought is is Nam like just canceled for forever now? Uh, I think the Jul the July one, uh, the January one, the California it's, one, it's not happening. Isn't right? happening. Okay. Uh, I think the summer one they're still sort of waiting. Tentative. You know, yeah, they're yeah. gonna wait. Yeah, because uh -huh. they canceled last year. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, so the Nam yeah. show this year is canceled, right? Yeah. Well, and but you know who who'd have thought almost a year ago? I mean, in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. That that we'd still be going through this stuff. I never thought that. I've seen stuff get canceled from early 2020. Yeah. 
to early 2021, and now they've pushed it to, to pushed mid it. 2021 yeah. or late 2021. It's funny because I'm like, I'm like, does anybody even is any is anybody even a member of Nam anymore? Why the hell would you be if you're not? If because like if you're not the, getting the if you're if not you're getting not, the, the tickets. Yeah, yeah, that's the only reason you go to, you you sign up is to go to that show. But like, um, it's um, I think they have a newsletter too. They do, which I still get, and I haven't been a member of Nam for a little while, but. Um, because we stopped going a year. Yeah. 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 We let it. We well, actually, we let our 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 membership lapse. But yes, ma'am. It looks like we got some super chats that I'm not answering. I'm sorry. Oh well, Doc has some hey, suggestions Doc. for a communal email. Okay. And it's the guys at Texas Toes Guitar. Okay. I love it. Or somebody smarter than you at Texas Toes Ooh, Guitar. Ooh, that might be. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna send if <laughs> if it comes into that, we're just gonna send it into the into the ethernet and you'll never get an answer. <laughs> so there's another suggestion. Yes. Dog. Nitro at Texas Tar. Nitro. Nitro glycerin? Monday Nitro. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how these get divided up like just every other one. If that would be a thing, yeah. that would be fun. Yeah. Uh, might Ew. not be the most <laughs> Sorry. popular way to do it. I'm not, yeah, that would be the most equitable way to just do it. Just send me the ones you don't want to answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if, if they get an answer from Chris, they'll be like, Oh man! <laughs> oh man! That was one of the guys Matt didn't want to talk to. That sucks. No, I, I I've got I've got a bunch of things. What happens though is that it's like this this list of 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 emails that like let's yeah, yeah. let's divide it out. Fender Gibson. That is a great I mean, idea. That's that's really where the party or, line. Or anything splits. needing a really snarky reply. Yeah. <laughs> Send it my way. Yeah, yeah, we could yeah three way this deal. Rod H says to help. Was shipping my neck. Thank you, Rod. I'm not sure which neck is Rod. Maybe it's the, his, his. Maybe he signed up for the neck class. I don't know everyone's name in all the classes yet, but we'll get we'll get there. Once there's a face to go with it. Well, yeah, so. but that, so the neck class though is an online experience. Um, but you'll see their faces, no? Well, oh. no, it's because oh. it's not a Zoom class, but oh, they'll be able my. to communicate with us. Um, but yeah, there's there's necks are piled up. We're doing truss rods and uh, fretboards tomorrow. And then they're getting all boxed up and all shipped out, so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, but it's a push. That was one of those classes where it kind of sneaked up on me, like I was. Um, I believe the the pronoun. You think it snuck up? No, I was gonna say snacked. Sneaked it. In. Snacked. Um, it sounds funny when you hear it with that word used sneaked. correctly. Sneaked. I think it's yeah. has. Snuck. Has snuck in? No, it's not. I think it's snuck in. Maybe there. some. Maybe if someone who's a linguist will will let us know. Maybe Andy the Saint knows and he'll let us know. Anyway, but that 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 course, the timeline of that course, com I completely lost it because nobody signed up for a while, and then people started gradually signing up. And we're like, oh, we got to make these necks, and then it was like, oh crap, we got to make these necks and like get them done. So I was working and working and working. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Carl Eng Eng Engstrom. Hey, Carl. Why did I get? I just stuttered on that. I don't, I don't know. know. Seems like I only get here every other week and threw down some money for the B double E double R. Ah, God bless you, Carl. Um, the fridge is, is properly stocked with um, Andrew St. Pierre's beer, though there was a lot less beer than I thought, which means we must have drank a lot of beer while he was here. Yes. I think. He did all the cleanup yesterday <laughs> from Friday because we did our live stream. And I think everybody was feeling pretty good about Friday and, yeah. and the week in general. Yeah. And we hung out. It was and, time to kick back. Yeah, kick back. Yeah, now it's time to kick back. And, uh, You've yeah. been working hard. Now it's now time, it's time to, play. to play. Now it's time the, to play. And we played and played and played. And yeah. then Andy came in the next day. He came in with Jesse. With Jesse. And, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and cleaned everything up. And we got here and couldn't tell just how decadent mm -hmm. it had been the night before. Yeah. And it was pretty bad. It was. It, I felt like I was shot at and missed, shit at and hit. Saturday morning. So anyway, I had to be at work at six. Ouch! Well, and it was the worst day of my life. It was it really? It was bad. Oh well, that's no good at you all. You don't remember how happy I was when I was I remember. Home? I I recollect. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, did you know that? Uh, and Mrs. Toast, you did you know um, the general manager from Rick Turner Guitars left a. a uh, message on our our video, and he said, "Hey, that looks great, you guys." So did he really? Yeah, that is super cool. Yeah, yeah. He said, "I've seen a lot of people, you know, try to make these, and that that looks pretty good." So yeah, Fantastic. very very nice. Yeah, he said Rick would be would be proud. 
Aw. Yeah. That's nice. So I and I, I was not worried about you taking over their business model. No, and <laughs> okay. that's what that's what one of the things we want to talk about today tonight. Um, it, but it's cool because I, I was like, well, you know, what would be good. It would be if Rick said, "Hey guys, that's great. You know, your pal Rick," or <laughs> or, "Hey, I'm gonna come over there and kill you," and blah blah. Because that would mean like we did a good job. You know, I'm although I, I yeah. can't imagine. Not like not I'm gonna come over there and kill you, but like. We get a nasty note from a lawyer or something, and I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> Did we just get the? Uh, that's a great job, pal. I don't, I don't from, think from Rick so. Turner. N no, I don't. Way to no. go, sport. Because we didn't get anything from Rick. Good Turner. try. No, no. <laughs> but, but we, because we didn't get anything from Rick Turner. That's true. Um, but no, it's nice. It, I, you know, because a lot of you guys have, have said that you uh, um, sent that video to the uh, the people at Turner Guitar. So very cool. And I think yeah. the the. We, we wanted to try and, for me, it wasn't building an exact Rick Turner copy. Uh, nor we went was off it the restoration. For here. Right, yeah. exactly. The first, the first minute that this whole thing was thought up mm -hmm. with, with neck joint, which is always an important part, yeah. and, and a few other things. But we did want to capture the flavor of that. Yeah. And that was where the fun came in for me was, you know, rotating pickup and. 25 inch radius front and back on both and sides yeah yeah for no apparent reason i'm still not really quite sure why rick decided that was the thing to do other than to I, I think i think he's uh he that was his try and do this moment i, I, I think there was some of that the other thing was if you had that tool that would impart so it, yeah. they have they have a planer yeah. that you shove boards through and it, it puts that that it doesn't make it flat. If, if you're making, if you're designing a planer blade, mm -hmm. you can make it be whatever you want. You can make it be perfectly yeah. horizontal yeah. and make boards come out flat, or you can mm -hmm. make it have an arc to it, and you can make it yeah. be whatever you want. Then at that yeah. point, yeah, yeah. But and we we talked to our friend Jim Derlu about exactly that. Only yeah. it was twelve inch radius. Yeah, and uh, I, I still think there's some backstory to that, and that that tool was something that some he other found, thing, yeah. or some somebody else was using that, and he saw that, and he went. Oh, that's kind of like an arch top, but not. I can use. I can I make can, a thing. I can make that work. And I would it, be. It was like this moment in his head. Beep. Yeah. Oh shit! All my guitars are gonna have that. I, I bet you're right. There's probably some furniture profile or yeah, something yeah. that that yeah. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Like, I'm like, sorry, I just laughed at a comment. Oh, okay. Maybe maybe uh, like like armrests. Something. Something yeah. has a 25. Start measuring your own furniture. Let us know what you find. Well, you know, and and, and again. The, Big industrial tools that aren't used anymore can be had for pennies on the dollar. Yeah, even then. Even then, yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so Andy said, yeah. when you were talking about Friday night, yeah. that he parked his car in the wrong air and beast. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the guy came out and yelled at him. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and, I, and I was looking at Chris's bane that's running up his left arm. Are you wanting to stab Chris now? Okay. Yeah. Um. So, you know, after we made that video, a lot of people uh, really liked it, and uh, that was very, very cool. Um, yes? I'm sorry. Well, spit it There's out. There's like a whole snook, snook oh, debate going yeah, on. And they, like, it's just like other stuff. But Rod H. said, well, somebody asked him, when are we going to see Mrs. Tolis? And I'm like, well, what kind of a hostess would I be if I didn't greet her visitor? Right? Sure. And so... Uh, Rod H said, I signed up for the next set class just to meet Mrs. Toast. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're going to be very disappointed. The set net class? Now, that's, a, that's, that's an in-person class. An, yeah, the, the you build, always make an appearance Build a classic those. set neck yeah. is, yeah. Yep, yep. Um, so anyway, back to, the, back to the, the Rick Turner thing. You and I don't have any plans to make any of these guitars. No. So a, they're a, entirely too complicated. Yeah. A handful of people have asked us on a daily basis. When that's cool, when can I get one? <laughs> well, from us, you can't. No. You can get one right now from Turner Guitars. I bet you they have stuff in inventory you can just go buy them. Yeah, correct. So <laughs> what what is that about? Like what how do you feel about that? Like that we're not going to do those. Well, for one thing, this is going to sound probably kind of dicky, but Rick Turner still makes that guitar, yeah. and there's they are also on the used market. You can buy them used if you can't or you don't want to swing a new one. Sure. What would the reason be to buy one from us? A knockoff, when you can still get I mean, the real thing. You can still get thing. the real thing, and yeah. it's not like it's, it's expensive. But That's probably why. Well, 
So, so where do we come in on that? Yeah, if you and I were to make a Rick Turner guitar, it would be easily as much or more than a new one. Yeah. So, yeah. Because <laughs> Rick's got it figured out. Yeah, yeah, he's made a bunch of them. <laughs> he's got you a, a technique down. You got a bunch down. of videos or a bunch of views on that video, too. Yeah. yeah. You know why? Why? Because people like Andy the Saint. Yeah, I think that's a I lot of it. Yeah. it is. Yeah, everybody yeah. wanted to see... Andy the Saint, and we kept him sort of hidden, mm -hmm. and then we and then we had him uh, MC some stuff. We did, and and then we we displayed him. Mm -hmm. We displayed him displayed like him. an old striptease. Like, not like, like an old striptease. He was new in the package. Bum, 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 I was thinking bum. like Mighty Joe like Young that. or the original King Kong. I was thinking like you were comic book guy. <laughs> Worst episode ever. He didn't have sweatpants on. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, like why why would Mm. This is something that we wanted to talk about, and I don't know that we want to talk about it right now. Well, why not? Okay. Let's let's go down the path. All right. Is that okay? That's, I'm totally good Okay. With that. Do we have any other questions we need to get to before no, we... No, but there was a shocking comment that I saw from Alan Montgomery. There's hey, a Alan. 79 model, Model 1, on Reverb right now for yeah. $13,000. Yeah, right. I think yeah. that's like one of the prototypes or something like that, mm -hmm. right around then. Yeah, I saw that one. We looked at, I, I bet you there's not a Model 1 that's not for sale that or you didn't for look sale at that pictures. I didn't look at yeah. at least a couple pictures. Some people take better pictures than others. And some people, I'm going to just say this. Some people, when you're trying to get ten thousand dollars for a guitar, <laughs> need to take more than four pictures of that guitar. <laughs> Film is in in the world where super glue and tape is it's basically free, free and yeah. it's not because you have to pay for super glue and tape. Yeah. Digital photography is free. Let's come back. Let's you circle back to that because I want I want to circle back to Crimson fanboys at some point. <laughs> okay, but yeah. So let's talk about like what like. I don't even know how the best place to start that that conversation is. Why the, the, we can't why, make? Why is Texas Toast the cheap alternative? Why? Well, we're to not somebody else. To, to Rick Turner. Why should yeah. Texas Toast be the cheap? We're how not. about this? Why we can't build you a guitar for yeah. no money? Yeah, yeah. So um, it, it it costs a lot of money to you know it, you you and I were talking about this earlier. Rick Turner has been doing this for. Four decades. Mm -hmm. um, he's not like Paul Reed Smith. Mm -mm. I mean, he doesn't like wander around this great big factory whenever he wants and, you know. Glad handing employees yeah, saying yeah. they're doing a great job. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there's a really nice shop mm -hmm. and Rick goes there every day and, mm -hmm. and, and he has to be there every day because if not, Probably there's a couple, lot of stuff that doesn't get done. A couple of steps that he does. Yeah. He might check yeah. the truss rod access hole. Like I do. Every single yeah, neck. maybe. I'm not sure what. Yeah. I, he probably has that <laughs> and a lot of stuff that he does. But, but yeah, Rick Rick is, he, I would consider him to be one of the the, the grandfather, the, the fathers or grandfathers of the boutique guitar uh, as, as we know it today in 2020. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, he's... You know, I don't, I I don't think he's driving of, a brand new Mercedes every year. No, and, I don't think know. so either. I don't think he's rolling in money, but but just for his his time at Alembic uh -huh. and all of that, I mean, that's 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 a real the, the 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 Turner guitar is is cool, but Alembic is a mm -hmm. as a turning point in in music. Yeah. That's a, a real thing. Sure, you know. Sure, yeah, Alembic bass, and then came Alembic. Do you remember That's the a real thing? Do you remember the first year the that <clears throat> that we were went to the Nam show, and I saw Rick Turner's booth. It was in the basement. Was it? It was small. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't. Well, it, in steerage. Yeah, yeah. It was. It wasn't even on the main level. It was down in the basement. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, Some Rick Turner's are just been more comfortable in grungy bars. So. Yeah, and I mean, Rick Rick has been like, I, again, maybe he doesn't have anything to prove this point what well, could be yeah yeah it, it it's it, i say this all the time i you know i love I, I wore my fender custom shop shirt today everybody thinks i hate fender but i don't nothing can be further from the truth i wore my texas toast custom <clears throat> everyone shop thinks shirt. you hate texas toast but nothing can be further from the truth <laughs> but like yeah i mean i i'm i'm a nobody i'm a i'm a uh you know a, the redheaded stepchild of the guitar building where i bought all those guys guitars they didn't buy mine you know, I, I look up to those guys. Those guys are my heroes. And, and 
yeah, I, I might not like every single thing that they do, but I appreciate every, every, every step that they took to get me to where I could be. And yeah, it, 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 it's, it's funny how you, you have to, you got to pay a bunch of dues in this business. That's one of the things of the very few things that I know, that's one of them. And sometimes you're, you know, you're the third largest guitar builder in the world. And sometimes you're, you know, this wildly well-known guy and everybody loves your stuff when you're in the basement at the NAMM show. I, you know, I don't, I don't know. Well, well, Ken Tipton said, honestly, hey, Ken. other than all the China crap, the coolest stuff in NAMM is in the basement. You're right, yeah. That's why, because people are drawn to dive bars because yeah. there's no pretense. So, like, that's where, that's where Brian Nutter's booth was, and that's where um, uh, Creepy Fingers effects was, and, and a lot of things that, I, that I'm forgetting about, but I, I know... Uh, Brad Davis and I know Brian Nutter, so I remember those things. I, I you know, um, and, and I know them well enough that if I saw them, they'd go, "Hey!" If I called them, I couldn't go, "Hey, it's me." But, but I know them a little bit. So. You can say, "Hey, it's me, Mad, Loudmouth Matt." The, they and might then they'd do know that. Him yeah. instantly. Be prepared to be turned on. <laughs> I'm okay. hand modeling. I'm the hand model. So yeah. Um, hey, Mark Gordon from Liverpool is watching. Hey, Mark. From Liverpool. Hello. Worldwide. Uh, so Wayne Charvel and Grover Jackson have not. We have nothing on them. That's that. Yeah, they, they have nothing to prove to us. That's yeah. for sure. Um, yeah. 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 I, like I said, I bought all those guys' guitars. They they didn't buy mine. American industry. That's something that isn't as much of a thing now as it was even in the eighties. Yeah. And yeah, those guys guys like those two. Yeah led the charge on that stuff and and Grover Jackson still does just yeah. a little bit more behind the scenes. Wasn't so. Doug Cower in the basement too? Uh um, when when he's yeah, not, when he's not he at had, the he had a the big thing. booth. He had a big booth. He had a in the big basement. booth, a big basement. But it was booth. still in the basement. It was still crazy loud. Yeah, yeah. he he uh, when he's not doing the the guitar uh boutique the right. thing. Yeah. He yeah. he's I think he's in the basement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh, well, Stephen, I don't know if it's Saba or Suba. Hey, Stephen. Or Soba. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, said, uh, Bull, you guys have saved my sanity in this COVID, and you are somebody. Well, thank you Thanks. very much. We, we, I, I that, think COVID's that's very been really kind. good to Texas Coast, actually. <clears throat> in many ways, yeah, COVID was. But the, well, the, the, the thing about Texas Toast, we talked about this, you know. It took years. We, we talked about like how much you and I make, which isn't, you know, again, yeah. we're not driving brand new cars and, and no, you you know, but you know what going I did on today? trips to Mexico. What? I put a subwoofer in the 01 Buick <laughs> Regal. Ooh. <laughs> That's why you got a fiberglass splinter. It's that a is Regal? Why. It's a Regal. Regal? It's an 01. It's a getaway car. It's an 01. You can go eat sushi and not pay, and no one I mean, can not describe everybody, your getaway not car. Not everybody can afford an 01. Yeah, it's Regal. pretty nice, dude. Yeah. So, so, but but we talked about, like, you, you said that you think we make more than minimum wage, and I'm like, mm, I don't know, dude. Given the number of hours that we work, I think we, we make way less than minimum wage. And especially if you start to to add up all the time where we were making nothing. There were years in the old shop where we made nothing. We made less than nothing. It cost us money yeah. to make guitars. Yeah, that's true. You know, and we're yeah. we're just now getting to the point where yeah. it's like, hey, we're a real, you know, we're like yeah. making and stuff happen. Yeah, do, dues paid. Mm -hmm. We did that uh, for years. We just had a whole lot of fun doing it, and it didn't feel like we were paying dues. I got a thing but, from Facebook the other day. The very first Texas Toast guitar ever built was 10 years ago yesterday. Who was that? What was that? What's happening? The, the, I got a thing from Facebook, the thing that you're not on anymore. Fuck um, Facebook. Yeah. Um, that the, I, it was a picture of me working on the very, very first Texas Toast guitar. Was that Ernst's guitar? No. No. Who? Um, it was one of one of two. There was a bunch of them, but there were there were those two Purple Heart SGs that that I still have one of, um, and Sergeant Bishop bought the other one. But that was ten years ago, so it took it took nine years for us to yeah. have a space that that is not yeah. my garage, right? And and a year and a half for us yeah. to finally get to the point where we. Mm -hmm. We we really need to plan stuff because we're way out of whack. There's all kinds of 
Yeah. Like, oh shit, that's yeah. not done yet. And, yeah. yeah. So I got noticed that it was five years ago. No, it has to be more than that. Yeah, maybe five years ago that um, we did those three Casanova LTDs. I yeah, I, I that and was those were the last gu guitars that we did before the pin router. Before the pin router, uh -huh. we did those with with top routers. But those were also the first guitars we did with Simtex Sealer. Yeah. Yeah. And that was a, a, a point. Yeah. And I had, there were three pictures, or there were pictures of all three of them, and they looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. I was like, those are pretty nice guitars. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of ways, that was, yeah, kind of the beginning of, yeah. of a lot of stuff. And then the pin router, it's which I think be... literally happened the next week. Yeah, I think I think so too. And, and you we did were it, so and we were like, pissed, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember it's been it's been less than ten years since we met Mike Learn. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff that ha so, but but we didn't make any money. We made we we it cost us money to build guitars. Yeah, those were seven years ago. I yeah. traded a car for painting lessons. That's I remember that. Yeah. Hey, looks like we got a super chat from Doug. Can you read that, Mrs. Yeah, Doug? he says, "Hey, toasters, traveling for my 32nd anniversary." Here's for the beer fun. Hey Doug, I hope you're going a, somewhere cool, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna paraphrase the rest of your comment and say B W E W R U N B R U N. There we go. That's a great song. It's a happy song. It really is. It is a happy song. Um um. Uh, so anyway, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm looking, or I need to. I need to be. I'm need to be talking with you guys. You're here. I can't. I can't look at the computer. Hey Matt, phone call for you. Phone call let for me, you. Let me let me go get that while you're here. What? Right. The whole phone thing, like, like the phone rings and you leave whatever you're doing, whoever's in front of you, oh, to yeah. go answer the phone. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't know what the phone you, is. You can't do yeah. that. Yeah, no. the people, the people are watching and they, yeah, they, they mm -hmm. got stuff to do and they tuned in to listen to us. They're here specifically. They, they want, they, yeah, they, they specifically. They're a part of this, yeah. and yeah, you can't just like yeah tune out. So no, you can't. Anyway, um, but yeah, so so what's what's the best advice to, you know, young Guitar building guys, it's just just keep at it. Yeah. And you you know and you, and you might you'll be, be the next successful Paul Reed like Smith. us. Well, no. <laughs> it only it, it only took two years for Motley Crue to hit it big. I'm just saying. Good for Motley Crue. Yeah, I, I think that there are some people that that it happens faster. But like, uh, we often joke around about how one day we'll wake up and be overnight successes. Yeah, After you know thing. a decade yeah, yeah. of something's happening, low mm -hmm. battery. I didn't do it. God damn it! Why do you do that, Chris? I don't do it on purpose. Is the air compressor off? Yeah, no, it's not. Ooh, the air compressor, air compressor can start relax. up at any time. We're back. So we had a little bit of a battery issue there. It wasn't. Uh, I may have to upgrade my system. Well, I think so. What 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 upgrade? Could you have performed where that wouldn't have happened? A battery where if you plug your thing in it it starts charging you have to turn the battery on in okay. this situation so when you plug your thing in the thing you plug it into has to actually do has something has to get turned on yeah, yeah i know yeah <laughs> okay you can't you can't plug your thing in and without just, the just let it without sit the there. thing you're plugging yeah. in being turned on yeah all right if that's uh, hopefully that's the only glitch in tonight's show <laughs> fingers crossed you boys and girls all right so um the what well, was some of the other stuff that we wanted to cover about the, you know, why why we won't make a Rick Turner guitar for, you know what I mean? Uh, well, I, I think we, we sort of avoided the whole um, things caught. Uh, craftsmen, I'm not willing to work for minimum wage. You can yeah. say, however you divide that up, sure, I'm sure. not going to work for $10 an hour. At the okay. end of the day, I'm not going to get $80 out of this deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or I think, I think, $120. I think if or, you looked back on it, you'd be, you'd be well, like, in some, in some hey, I didn't even make $80. Okay, but yeah. I mean, you know, for however many hours a week I work, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm not going to, yeah, yeah. If Let's not do the math on that. Let's not. Yeah. But, but, mm -hmm. if you're, if you're ordering, if, if you want something custom and you want something bespoke and you want something... If you want something nice, yeah, you can have something yeah, nice. Yeah, you, you can't expect to pay minimum wage rates for I those see things. What you mean. Yes, and I think a lot of people don't understand exactly how much time it takes to make some of these things. And even the things that we're jigged up for take a fair amount of time. 
And if, if, if it's something even slightly different than what we're jigged up for, it costs way, way more. Yeah. And the tool costs money. And, and, the, yeah, and, costs and the material money. costs and money. And the electricity. And the, to, yeah. 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 So, so you're not going to, if, if it's a, uh, a 10 hour item, you're not going to get it for a hundred bucks. No. It's just no. never going to happen. You're not going to get it for 200 bucks. No. So, and, 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 you know, the Fender and Gibson and ESP and everybody else all the way down the line, those guys are rigged up to make one thing over and over and over and over as fast as they can for as economically as they can. And they do it better can. than anybody else. Yeah, yeah. And, and we are not them. No, no. I yes. have a There's comment before I us. read the Super Chat. Yes, ma'am. And it's, um, if they were doing a How It's Made mm -hmm. episode on you guys, you guys wouldn't be a worker. I would love, yeah. to, I yeah. still, I would still love to have TV cameras here all the time. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, but, and, but Matthew Miller, Hey, down Matthew. some for beer money. Thank you so much. Thank you. B -E -W -E it's good to have beer money. It's beer. good to have beer. What's better, beer money or beer? It's, yeah. Yeah. Beer. Yeah. Because yeah. then I got to go get it. I know. Beer. I, I know. I don't drink the beer. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 I don't really know where this was going, but, but it's a fun, yeah. it's it a a fun exercise to, yeah. yeah. Well, it's always fun when you get the, uh, can you make me one of those for $800? And I, I think that I think that the guy who asked that I he doesn't know. You ever yeah, he did. He did. Maybe, know. maybe I, not. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. But it's it, and it's okay to so it, it it's okay to say no. Here's why. Mm. Mm. That seems kind of tacky, though. You know what I mean? Why like, not? Well, I mean, well, because then you're he like, know. well, but 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 who cares? You know what I mean? Like what like what do you get? So if I go, hey, Chris. I want to know if you don't even know what you well it that I don't yeah I blah, 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 blah. I'm I'm totally at a loss for words here. So but so it's I, not it's not my responsibility to make sure well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you no, to know no, what's no, up. Here. No, but 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 you can be like you know um one everything that's haircuts. Let's go with okay. haircuts. A haircut's a 30-minute thing at the yeah. most. Yeah. And there are people that will cut your hair for $8. Eight dollars. That's there are people right. that will cut your hair for $800. 60 yeah. I was going to say 50 yes. Mm -hmm. And there are people in between. And and there's a certain amount of skill from the $8 haircut to the $50 haircut. There's also some experience yeah. I think that you, at the, the at 50 hair, 60 dollar haircut. Looking at your hair right now. Hey, I settle think down. I have picked a different. <laughs> I have know, decided metaphor. this is this is covid hair. <laughs> But I do understand, COVID. you know, and, and sometimes you've got to do something for yourself. And Wait, enjoy about yourself. The experience of going and getting a haircut Remember or that going guy and getting who was a like massage. On all you the go daytime to, TV you can go to the mall the and get a hat. massage for like a yeah. buck fifty in a chair. But if you want a real massage, you, you go to a pay for the real happy masseuse. Ending. It's, a big it's not about the happy up. ending at this point, but that is a thing. Gone off the rails. Yeah. I'm totally and on my rails. Yeah, I'm the, good. The, the point is, if you want the cheapest shit, go buy the cheapest shit, but don't hit up the guy that. Well, they don't know. People, I think, are genuinely surprised when you, uh, you give them. I mean, look at us. Greg Pro wants to know if we're turning Brad Angove into a beer drinker. That would be the we're ultimate fantastic. peer pressure. We may be doing that. He drinks a lot more beer on camera now than. Does he? Yeah, he does. I. I That's ultimate peer pressure. Watched... That's like gold medal level. Yeah, I haven't even watched the video, but I saw uh, a video and he was like. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah I, there you go. Brad, Brad apparently sent us something. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it was something. And and you guys know that as soon as we get it, we'll we'll yeah. we'll do a live unboxing or, mm -hmm. or something. Yes, ma'am. So battle axe. Hey Sam, Sam what's up? Uh, five pounds metric. Metric money. It's a great analogy, Chris. But you can't play smoke on the water with your hair. If you come in here and you fucking pick up a guitar and play smoke on the water, uh -huh. I'm gonna smack it right out of your hair. Woo! So Woo! yeah. Who was that guy who had the cowboy hat and the, the ponytail? He was on all the daytime like talk show things he was the hairdresser guy in the oh, 80s yeah uh uh dang jose Iber. yeah how much would yeah one of his haircuts had to have been a lot of money probably 500 bucks yeah because because yeah. so yeah so you got the super cuts you know guy yeah. and you got the the mm -hmm. jose Iber guy and 
yeah. and a lot of subtle levels in between, and, and yeah. it depends yeah. on what you, yeah. Well, and, and, remember, and don't forget Jorge from Beauty Shop. Jorge from Beauty Shop? Remember the knockoff of the barber shop? No, I, I Queen Latifah. I, I don't, but I don't remember who Jorge is. So. Kevin Bacon. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Never yeah. mind. Okay. Yeah, Jorge. Yeah, and that's a good name. Though. But but at Supercuts, you get basically. I mean, you can point to the three haircuts on the wall, and go give me <laughs> give me number two. You give me the Ellen DeGeneres and <laughs> the Ellen DeGeneres. And, and you're gonna yeah walk out of there looking like. L and D. How much? And, how much longer do you think your hair? You're gonna let your hair go? I don't know, dude. Every day I wake up and I'm like, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do something about. You're this. in that like that zone where it's you can't. It's always in the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And but I also you're gonna start also, tying it back to something. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, very, very soon. Or or hat all the time. I I'm not a hat guy, so that's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. The the. Uh, I'll bring you some of my hats. I've got some good hats. <laughs> <laughs> You'll love it's it. going to be cold soon, so you can uh, wear a stocking cap yeah. all the time. So there's been a, a couple few comments that uh, Brad Ango gave you a shout out today. Today? Oh, oh wow. Oh! oh! Who won? There was no bet. <laughs> yeah. So this is as long as my hair has ever been in my whole entire life, 50 years. Uh, I'm afraid if I cut a whole bunch of it off, I'll look... More bald than ever. <laughs> maybe Brad Engo sending you hair gel. Oh man, maybe. Or moose, maybe because he's from maybe. Canada where maybe. there's a lot of mooses. Yeah, and I, I just have I no idea meese. what to do. This morning I was like, I'm shaving off my beard. That's it. I'm done. I, I think don't you like look like a, like a Civil War colonel or something. <laughs> I probably do. The problem is I don't. I in some ways I don't think I look as old as I look. But because my beard's really gray. So my brother had a birthday this week, and he's seven years younger than me. And he grew, uh, uh, we don't talk, but I, I Facebooked him yeah. and uh, just to see what he was up to. And he, he grew a, a COVID beard, and it's brown. Like the whole thing, like it's so brown, I would be worried that he's not fake doing it. Like Grecian formula? He yeah, yeah, he wouldn't do that. And it's just brown, and I'm like, ha ha. Your beard isn't that good. Ah, <laughs> your beard's way browner than mine. Yes, ma'am. Mine's all gray. Well, Carl Ingram. Hey, Ingram, Carl. Ingstrom. Again. Why do I have trouble with his? I shouldn't have drank those hard sides. Those yeah, hard maybe. Lemonade. He just wants me to tell everyone you need know, to thumbs up, smash the button, folks. Hey, yeah, yeah. do that. That's cool. And hit the subscribe button if you're like a, a first-time viewer or you're a a bunch of time viewer, but you don't necessarily subscribe, hit the, subs the subscribe button. We've got some great videos coming up this week. One is for a really cool new uh, Goto strat trim, and you're going to do that one, right? Yes. Am I going to do the intro outro, or are you going to do the whole shoot? I'll do match? the whole thing. Okay. Um, the other is for some... Yes, ma'am? Well, I just have a repeat question. Okay. Oh, the, I... Are you going to ever do a video how to build a bass guitar? This comes up somewhat regularly. Atta boy. We we make a lot of basses. Um, the the bass guitar and and a, and a, a, a traditional six string guitar are very similar in construction design. Uh, um, ba an upright bass and and classical guitar are very different from each other. But um, um, yeah, bass guitar and regular guitar, you could very easily take what you learned in any of our build up a, a regular guitar classes and put that into to put that to work for you building bass uh, building a bass having said that i think build a bass would be a really neat uh, online thing to to do it would be or we could also we could offer a build a bass class mhm mm we could offer build a, a classic p bass class would be fun we could offer a build a classic p bass or telecaster class that would be a really fun class. Well, so you could. Well, how? Wait a minute. So how would that so, work? So, so you, you let us know beforehand which one you're gonna do, and some guys oh. are gonna build tellies, and some guys are gonna build original fifty-one P bases. Okay. Yeah. And you know, because they're t pretty much the same thing. Well, they're very except they're for, similar except for, enough. Except yeah. for hard, uh, some hardware. But we would need to know in advance. We Why don't we do that? that? Why don't we do? Um, uh, one of the upcoming 
telly, build a classic telly. We could build a classic telly and build a classic P base all in the same. That would be awesome. And we would have to be fifty one though, because we're gonna use ash for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. But if if nobody picks picks, mm -hmm. if nobody picks, build a classic base. We're gonna build the base while they build the telly. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, so um, I like the idea, build a, build a base. If, you, um, if you're talking about an online class, maybe we can do that. But if you're talking about a come to Texas Toast and build a, a, a classic Fender-style base, um, it sounds like we're going to do that. Yeah, yeah, In fact, maybe we'll make that happen right away. So um, I, this, this is a, a set of tools that, um, that I got this week. And I have the invoice here. And I actually paid for these. This is a Stu Mac invoice, and it actually has numbers. It doesn't have, it doesn't have zeros. At the there you end. go, buddy. Don't tell us if you didn't. Don't tell anybody you didn't pay for it. Yeah. So here's the invoice, and um, uh, yeah, there you go. Hand modeling. All right. So that's got the. Um, all right. All right. All right. All right. That's good enough. So, so you guys know that I actually paid for these, and um, these are this. This is coming up in a video this week. I'm, I'm excited to try these. Um, and I'm going to also be using these in our In the Weeds with Necks classes. These are neck templates. And what they are is you use them. Will you hand me? How about that, that, that telly neck over there? Or that, that daily driver neck? Let's see how close we came to the, um, there's a Strat C profile. See how, how close we are to that. This is the 92. Apparently 92 was the be all end all year for Strats. And, he, and we also have the. Look at that. Oh man! Look that's, at that. That's actually like pretty dead good. On. Can you guys see that? This is the first time. That's 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 pretty solid. They made, so that's the first they made that template from that neck. That's right. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and that's the twelfth. Maybe. And that's the twelfth. And that Boom. one's a that's a good match pretty too. Pretty dang close. Yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of variation, and I but. But you can drop a mic and say sexual chocolate on that shit. I could. The funny thing is, is those the. Back in the the old days, all those necks were done by hand. Yeah, they so ran them through a router. I've and got a boatload of these templates here that I had to pay for all of these, and I'm going to do a video on those. I think that'll be a cool thing to do. And who's EJ Stratocaster? Aaron J Eric Jackson. There you go. I believe it's um. That's right. Who do you suppose EJ is? Uh, <laughs> come on, dude. I think that's Eric easy Johnson. E. Oh, okay. Uh, JB Stratocaster. Jor jo Jorance Borgensen. Yep, Jorance Borgensen. <laughs> or Jeff Beck. Yeah, it could be. 59 LP. Lawrence Pubia. I bet I bet LP Lawrence stands for Pubia. Larry. Larry, yeah. Larry Pubic. You, you really want to say Lawrence of Alabia, <laughs> Larry, right? Larry, Lawrence of Alabia Lawrence, Lawrence is the of, best strip joint name ever. 62 Strat. 62. All right. I don't know. So yeah. So watch for video on that. Watch for video on the um, uh, Goto Bridge that we're going to be doing this week. Um, <laughs> what else we got videos on? We've got the What Would Mike Learn video coming very very soon. It's all done. I just have to edit it. I've got some video of the um, uh, the Copy Carver in action doing the 25 inch radius on Andy the Saints uh, Returner guitars that we will not be making uh, ever again. And if you want to know why, well, because Rick still makes it. What else, Chris? Sad, sad news. Sad news. Take it away, Chris. People keep dying that, that I've looked up to or that I've enjoyed their work. Like whom? Like, uh, well, today, uh, David Lander, who played Squiggy on Laverne and Shirley, mm -hmm. Andrew J. Squigman. Yeah. Uh, passed away. Was it last night or, or yeah, last yeah, night? Or the last day night before, I heard about it. You know, it, yeah. ultimately it doesn't much matter, except that it all uh, means the same thing, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. He's and and really, he had MS and and you know he died at seventy three. But but it's a bummer when you start seeing people that you really enjoyed when you were a child mm -hmm. starting to die and and then you go, oh man, that sucks. And then you go, well, they they were seventy three. Well. Okay, but I still really enjoyed him as as Squiggy. Do you question your own mortality when well, you hear about that yeah, stuff? Yeah, a little bit. But, okay. But uh, but but you know he and Lenny 
uh, Michael McKeon. Yeah. Um, without without those two guys meeting, I have no doubt. Guaranteed that Spinal Tap would not be a thing. In fact, <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Uh, their their Lenny and the Squig Tones thing was so popular on Laverne and Shirley that they made an album, and it was I think mostly rock and roll covers, but there were a few originals, and they were they were on American Bandstand, and the lead guitar player was a was a young kid mm -hmm. out of uh, first Squat, time you'd ever Squat seen him. England, <laughs> Nigel Tufnell, yep. and it was actually um, yeah. Christopher Guest. Yeah. As Nigel Tufnell, and this was in like 70, 78 or 79. So, yeah, pre predated Spinal Tap by, by a, a good a three fair or amount. Four years. Yeah, yeah, by a fair amount. And, and there he was, and Michael McKeon and Chris Guest became yeah. Spinal Tap. And if you watch the, the Lenny and the Squig Tones, and you can go on YouTube and, <laughs> and, and search it out, and man, the songs are way better than they should be. Yep. They are absolute comic genius as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Really funny. Really pushed the sponsor or the 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 um I made a mess. Ah. Not the ah. the uh the envelope? The, the, no, the uh, censors. Oh yeah. It's it's amazing what a P will do to a word. Yeah. Sponsor, censor. Same idea. And uh and a bell. yeah. They're just they're just brilliant. And night after night, a song about two nights in a row. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll leave you in tears if you if you go and Google them. Oh, what so I but I put that thing up and they're like, oh, your home address was on the paper, and I'm like, come over, Bobby would love to meet yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, and so now this talk of Bobby he sounds like a nice by. boy. Here's a picture of Bobby. He's right here. He's on the, the toast sticker. Mm -hmm. That's him. And that's what he'll do to you when you, when you come. Come over. It'll be fun. I have fun. It will be. Yeah. 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 How many, Bobby bit you pretty good, didn't he? Yeah, he got me pretty good. Yeah. A couple times. No, I just want Just the one day. The one day that he slept the muzzle off, right? Yeah. 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 yeah I never seen the dog get out of a muzzle. Yeah. Me neither. That was the Magic. first time. So, anyway, and this stuff never happens one guy at a time. No, it, it always happens at least two. And the other guy is a guy named Hugh Keys Byrne from Australia, mm -hmm. who's most famous for playing the toe cutter. Most in famous Mad in Max. America, right? Because he was in a bunch yeah, of stuff. Yeah, well, and he was a, but, but I think even there he okay. was. And, and, and here's a wild distinction for him. Hold, hold on a second, Chris. I think, I think you glossed over who he was that everyone will know. Okay, so, so Hugh Keys Byrne played... The toe cutter, the main antagonist in the movie Mad Max yeah. with Mel Gibson, and he holds the distinction. In America, when we got that movie, all the voices were overdubbed, mm -hmm. except for Hugh Keys. Really, I did yes. not know that, but it makes it. And seemed, he, yeah. because he's a Shakespearean trained actor. Oh wow! He played. He did all these different voices. None of them Australian. You mean to tell me? Wait a minute. A Shakespearean, a Shakespearean actor, mm -hmm. a thespian of the highest regard, yes. had a vest or a jacket that said, happiness is a tight pussy? Yes. Okay. He did. From the I movie, don't make this stuff up, you from guys. From the movie preceding Mad Max that, that kind of introduced the whole biker culture the to Stone Australia. Movie, yeah. yeah, called Stone. But anyway, Hugh Keith. Have you burned. ever seen Stone? Uh, no, I haven't because that that's an even harder movie to get than the original un uh, <sighs> Have any of you guys do any of you guys have a copy of stone? I I was almost I was this close to buying a copy of stone from uh, a, a guy who builds he does a lot of stuff with um, uh, single overhead cam CB 750 motorcycles he turns them into cafe bikes his name's Carpy and he will sell you a copy of a copy of a copy, maybe, yeah, on VHS yeah. of Stone. That's the way I saw the first un <laughs> yeah. of Mad Max. And it yeah. was decades after I first saw it that I, that I finally saw the un original voices Mad Max. And it's a, uh, an incredibly different movie mm, okay. at that point. But uh, <laughs> my favorite Hugh Keys burn thing was... When they when they did uh, 
Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah. If you went and saw it at an Alamo theater, oh, they had Hugh Keysburn and George Miller, the director, uh, doing a little promo before about turning off your phone. And, and oh, really? You know, yeah. And I was I was so excited to see this movie. Did you see it at the well, Alamo? Yeah, at the Alamo. Oh, the first night. Yeah. And and uh, Hugh Keys is is there, and he's like. He's talking very eloquently, and he's, um, you know, if, if you have a phone, please set it on silent. And, uh, you know, during the movie... Um, I'm going to give you I a bunch of rules, but I'm going to deliver it, it in a very yeah, pleasant yeah, manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. During, please, during the movie, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. I think it would come out better he's, coming he's from my sound, mouth. People would really listen. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Hugh Keys says, yeah, says a yeah, lot. Yeah. yeah, and I'm not saying you don't have the juice. And it was brilliant. Jones. And and they played. They, they did. I to my knowledge, they didn't edit the fuck. Mm -hmm. And and it was perfect because he was such a thespian and such an eloquent speaker that, I mean, you know, even yeah. even the toughest guy turned off turned the silent yeah. onto his phone. There was a there's a John Waters thing where he tells you that they. They're gonna ask you not to smoke in the theater. Ah, eh, but smoke anyway. And it's a yeah, whole like yeah. intro. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Shut the yeah. fuck up. Well, um. So yeah. So it, that's uh. The so, world is a is a sadder place. Sadder yeah. place without Squiggy and the toe cutter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the toe cutter. He knows who I am. <laughs> Whatever happened to um to the night rider? Night rider. Well, like the real guy. I don't know. Okay, you would think you would know, but yeah. I don't. I yeah, I think he was a thing for a while, and then he died. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Like so many, like so many people. Yeah. You know, we only have so many laps around the track, you guys. So, um, yeah, <laughs> best to <laughs> best to uh, uh, to to build guitars, play guitars, eat the cake, drink the beer. You know, whatever you want, and this that's where people are gonna people are gonna go. That's why you should drink better beer, Matt. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I. I'm not much of a drinker. I enjoy the social aspects of drinking beer, but the beer part, I, like I don't, I don't really need the the alcohol part. So that's why I drink Coors Light. It's mostly I, water. We, yeah, we have I, altitude. We got to stay hydrated. Yeah, I, I appreciate the you know the camaraderie that goes along with drinking beer. And you know, if Brad Angle were here, I would sit around and. He could drink high test beer, and I would drink Coors Light, and right. it would be, it does doesn't mean and that we don't like really Brad. And he get really fucked up because he's at altitude. I bet you no. I'm sure. Well, Canada's Canada's high. way up there. Yeah. He's tough. Or Canada's way up high. Whoa. Yep. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm sure that, uh, and it would be neat to meet Brad Angle one day, and to, um, you know, to to he could like laugh at me for drinking the wrong beer, mm -hmm. and you guys and could all chime it's in. It's reasonable. And go. It's happening. I yep. think I, yeah. I hope yep. so. It's, it's, I hope it I'm does. I'm going to go pee. You can finish this up and turn it off when you're done. All right. Well, so Chris is going to... Do we have any questions before I talk about Chris going to the bathroom? I don't know. People are just talking. You know. Should we follow Chris into the bathroom with the, yes. the camera? Yes. That would be funny. We're not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, you guys. Come on. This is a family show. Hey, it's man. For, I, really, for the Manson family, but it's a family show. Jay Van... Uh, J Van B two three one signed Hi, up for a class and he's stupid excited. He's he signed he did what huh? He signed up for a class and he's stupid excited. Very cool. Which there's, class? What's what time? There's a there? handful of guys who I think are gonna sign up for like um, uh, like they signed up with their buddies and they're gonna they're all gonna come out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, you guys, um, uh, thanks for watching the uh, the Sunday live stream. I have so much fun hanging out with Chris and Mrs. Toast and of course all of you guys who tune in. Um, it's one of my favorite things. I look forward to it all week. And, and I don't know if we solve any of the world's problems, but we sure have fun. So, um, uh, yeah, and I like to yell at the camera, and I like to talk over everybody, and I like to interrupt everybody. And they usually say, hey, Matt, I'm sorry. Was I uh, talking while you were interrupting? And I always say yes. So until next time, uh, guys, have a great week. And uh, we've got a bunch more videos coming at you very soon. We kind of dropped the ball last week, but we were very, very busy. Um, I promise I'll make it up to you this time. So until then, uh, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself, and life is short, you might as well have a cool guitar. Oh, and um, anything can be a guilty pleasure if you're anxious enough. We'll see you. Take care, guys. Will you hit the button, Mrs. Toast? I don't know how. Okay, I'm coming over there and doing it. Did you wash your hands, Chris? Yes. I want to smell them. Yeah.
I had somebody when I was